Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the garage. probably going to be a two-parter maybe I'm not too sure um, we recorded a lot of the stuff earlier but things got caught up and everything I traveled the, the holidays kind of sucked to get some stuff done so you'll see different shirts you'll see different stuff trying to put together a decent video for you guys just want to show you the shop this is pretty much a tour that I wanted to do since we started the channel I put out a little crappy one that was on uh, the cell phone it was I want to give you a little more in-depth type of tour um, if you guys have any questions, comment section below. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. We're going to start over here in this corner of the shop. So this is our cutting section. Um, two different saws. We've got a DeWalt. This is a metal cutting saw. And this is our Ryobi wood cutting saw. Kind of got the idea, well, not the idea, but I pretty much got it from uh, a channel called Shop Nation. Good channel, check it out. You know, just trying to come up with a space that can be on wheels where I can move it around. This also doubles as a top for the uh, table saw. So it's the same height as the table saw. Got a you know, bottle opener. It has its own vacuum system inside it. So you just <laughs> I, got a, I got a suction input here through the door. And I have a suction input there as auxiliary power, um, and then obviously a spot to keep all of uh, this stuff. There's just miscellaneous bolts and stuff in here. Uh, this is just kind of like a, this a little refreshment station. You get your coffee, get your drinks, water, you know, what have you. That's pretty much, that's it. Shop vacuum, that's simple enough. And then moving into here, we got, you know, cabinets. We have all of our waxes and everything like that. Electronics, Xbox One, Switch Dock, uh, you know, all the goodies here. Um, we have a small stereo, um, but we're hopefully going to upgrade that soon. Got the backdrop back here. Plain old stick-on backdrop. Just something, it's not cheap by any means, but it just gives it that nice look that you kind of want to have. Like a, if you want a garage, it stands out. You know, floor, paint, trim, you know, those are the kind of things that you want. If you do it yourself, it's not that expensive. Uh, moving on, this cabinet was always in disarray. It was like the the thorn in my ass that I just I never wanted to take everything out, and vacuum it, and dust everything. Finally did that, mainly for this video. So smash a like or click the like. I fucking why did I say that? I hate it when people say smash the like. It's so <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> This is the other section of the shop. We have a sandblasting unit, which I can't get this thing to work for the life of me. I think I know exactly what the problem is. The gun that comes with this thing sucks so much ass. Uh, you need to get a different gun. The, the input tube on it is way too small. It keeps on getting jammed up. Don't waste your time. It's just another cabinet miscellaneous crap. This will be eventually getting organized. As you can see, if it's not organized, it causes a high level anxiety for me. So it needs to be addressed. Uh, moving on. No, not, not moving on. Stay put. Stay put. Because this is an awesome table saw. Maybe we'll work with it at some point in time. And that jack is handy because I can't get the Mark 8 on the lift without it. Up top, that is, uh, I guess you could call the heart, the backbone, the thing that does no work but just sits there. And that would be the air compressor. Um, that runs all of our hoses. We have a hose line here. Uh, for one half bay here with an electric line. And we have matching ones, if you follow me this way, over here. Same air, 
power for this bay. This bay has the lift, obviously. Upstairs is just a storage area. Figured um, we are paying rent here. This is not at my home. I make it a dual purpose. So we put the loft in, didn't build it, but we just made it sturdy and made it so that it wouldn't collapse. Fine, we would. Now so far so good, everything seems to be fine. I'll keep you updated if it collapses. Um, we also put in the air purifier from Viami. And that thing is spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, it's like I would wash the car, dark colored cars, you'd see the dust, you'd see the bugs, you'd see all the accumulation of crap. I'd wash it, it'd get waxed, I'd bring it in one week later, covered in shit. Um, obviously, we are in a warehouse, so that's going to happen. I put that thing in, and oh my god, it's, it's a lifesaver. I can go like three, four, five weeks sometimes, no dust in the car. I mean, almost, almost nothing. I mean, it's very, very nice to be able to get in the car and drive away, and you don't have to wash the car every time before you leave. Again, first world problem, but so that particular unit is a dehumidifier and an air purifier. So it, it does both. I have a hose running out the side, so I don't have to keep on going upstairs where there's no uh, stairs to go up there. I have to pull out a ladder every time. So I got the hose hooked up so it drains itself. That's freaking awesome. Uh, moving on. We're going to need that. Um, and then miscellaneous jacks. We got stuff like this. This is for uh, transmission, rear diff. Transmission, all that good stuff. Oh, look at that. For shame, GT40, for shame. Anyway, all right, so uh, moving over here. This is uh, where the magic happens, I guess. If this was a part in the house, this would be the bedroom or the bathroom. <laughs> Same stuff happens in both. <laughs> Hopefully about, not all of it. Talking about playing on the cell phone, guys. We talk, <laughs> um, so. This is just like a little cabinet, open face cabinet, not a closed case cabinet. I know it looks cleaner, but I'm literally in this thing over and over and over again. Why do I want to keep on opening up and closing, opening, closing, opening, closing? I just want to grab the stuff and be done. So I painted the inside of the cabinets. I know it doesn't look as nice, but we're not here for all looks. We want some functionality. Shop towels, we have these everywhere. I just put up two more. Uh, One's in the front by where the food and stuff is and the drinks. Then I put up one that's above the toilet for your hands for washing. This is here. And we have another one that's attached to the green US General. Got a charging station up here. We got our two Milwaukee stuff. We got the 18 volt, we got the 12 volt down here. This is prize possession shit, guys. Prize possession shit. It's fucking good stuff here, good stuff. 18 volt everything and 12 volt. Got all that stuff there. Got our recording stuff in this drawer. What else we got here? It's just some Dremel stuff. There's some drill bit stuff. Oh, our sockets and everything up here. Try to keep it as organized as possible. Easy to find stuff. Air hose stuff. Cutting stuff. Pliers and stuff. Back down there. Here's just random crap. We have the internet, all that kind of stuff. Um, if we have a question about anything, you can order parts right here. Um, charging stations for stuff and everything. Uh, loves miscellaneous crap. Stickers for no reason. Uh, some more wrenches, some adjustables. Electronic drawer, which is always a pile. We got our handhelds over here, air tools, gotta have the air tools. This fucking guy, this fucking guy. Oh my god, I just spent a day's worth of salary on this shit. <laughs> I just want everybody to notice, they got four shirts on, they both, this was not coordinated. It wasn't, I was gonna wear my Subaru shirt, but uh, this is the first thing I grabbed, so. Well, I, I gotta show my my original love is Ford, but my second love is Subaru, which I'll be getting in uh, two months. So, yeah. Two months. Two months. Two months. Two months, bro. A whole race. Let me get the S two hundred nine by then. I think oh, they're not all spoken Jesus. for. All right, Harold. Let's see if let's see if we can finish this up. Because if we can get this done, then we can do lower this car and talk about this as a project car. We can make fun of Brandon. 
Um, and we can do a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> famous spell buckle. It's not famous, but maybe one day it will be. It's all fucking the way it should be without it. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. This guy. I know, well, I know why I bought this, because uh, I had a friend named Brandon who was pretty much saying, hey, you should probably get this, you know, because I'm from Philadelphia. Yeah, I don't know who that fucking idiot is. I got this, uh, fuck, Brandon, when, when, when did we get this? Fucking six, seven months ago? It's been a little bit longer than that, but yeah. The timeline sucks. Anyway, sturdy construction, this stuff, I, I was surprised. U.S. General, because they're with Harbor Freight, everyone's thinking if it comes from Harbor Freight now, uh, you know, then it's not a quality tool. If you really go there and look at their new stuff, don't get their cheap stuff. You can get cheap stuff anywhere. It's going to be cheap. But try out their new Pittsburgh stuff. Try out the U.S. General stuff. It's They're starting to actually make good products. Their Daytona lifts are awesome. Um, jacks are jacks. You know, they're going to hold up the car. But. This is a 2017 10,000-pound rotary lift. I don't know why I said it like that. I said it like I was trying to say the same line like 15 times and I finally got it right <laughs> for the first time. But that was the first try, I promise. <laughs> Not really much to talk about, it's a lift. It picks up and puts things down. This is where I keep all of our car washing stuff, waxing stuff. We have some bike farm towels, rotary uh, polisher, orbital polisher, um, and then we just got some other cleaning stuff. And then I got hoses for the vacuum and just a bunch of miscellaneous brushes and brooms and all that kind of stuff. Now, if you notice, I don't know if the camera can get it. We can probably get it when the lights go out. We've got a nice little LED strip over this and over most of the cabinets, just some ambient lighting at night. If you're kind of late, it kind of looks cool. Got a nice little hue of light around the whole place. All these cabinets uh, I made, uh, Gerald helped paint a bunch of them and stuff. Just a good old team effort all the way around to get this stuff going. I know there's a previous film Check it out. It's about foaming your car. It has the GT350 in it. I was talking about the water system and that I'll talk about it in a future video. You're in luck. Because this is the future video. We wanted to talk about the water system. It's not a normal water system. When we got this place, it had nothing to the front. There's no power, no air, no nothing, no outlets, nothing. I tapped into the toilet water input, teed it, ran it up, of the wall, over the loft, down over, through a filter, and then now I have a hose bib with a four out. Call a plumber to come out to actually solder in three quarter inch pipe the whole way, which changed the game when it came for water pressure and also the amount of water that was coming through. You couldn't really run a pressure washer off of it because it was starving it. Um, so, I mean, it was just really nice to get that upgrade. But in order to get everything over here, so we got, you know, we got power now through the table. Uh, Pressure washer, always with the bar, always ready. Water, regular hose, and then I gotta fill up hose. And this door sucks. That's about it. Oh, the lighting. Did we even talk? We didn't talk about the lighting. The lighting. Lighting got redone probably four months in. These are single strip. I don't remember the brightness level, the Calvin level, but they're bright as absolute F. Um, got six whole um, uh, strips changed out. Uh, they used to be these hue tubes, but I only had two right here. I mean, it was freaking, it was like night in here all the time. So we finally got these installed. That was a big game changer for just being able to see what the fuck you're doing when you're working on a car. Also, I don't think I put this in the last video, uh, or at least the last recording. Go to the Facebook channel. If you go on the Facebook channel, we have like 70 pictures of when we first got this place, what it looked like. The floors were an absolute disaster. Uh, the, the paint was all messed up, holes in all the walls. It, it's a huge transition from then to now, and it's it's a treat, so definitely take a look at it. I, I, I always forgot, or like I didn't really say, was uh, the fascia on this. I don't know why it did it, but to take the, the, the garage to that like next level to where you see the finishing touches, obviously don't look at the sheetrock job. Uh, to be able to just to put a face on that, to give it, to make it look like it's not just, it was just literally boards, just like this. I mean, it looks so hackish. Second I did that, it was just like you could start to see things come together and it just ended up taking it and making it to what it is today. Everyone know it's not difficult. If you just have a little bit of money put aside, you can get your own place. If it's a one car garage, two car garage, whatever it is, make it your own. 
and do a lot of it yourself. Build a lot of it yourself. There's no reason to go out there and spend, you know, 20, 30 grand just like you would to redo a kitchen and to redo your, to your garage. One, your wife's going to freaking kill you if you have one, obviously. And it's going to be a shitty fucking thing. You want to make it a happy thing. You want it to be a happy spot. You want to have nice paint, surround yourself with nice friends, have a good time. And with that, we'll catch you on the next video.